Hi everyone, this is Marissa from Gaia Africa bringing you highlights from day 6 of the INC5. So today has been a day of very high uncertainty. Whilst informal negotiations have been happening behind closed doors, Indigenous peoples groups have been raising their voices with media and journalists around how the plastics industry have been sacrificing communities and treating lives as if though they were disposable. We have no access to know exactly what is happening there today. And this could be a signal of one or two things. Either ambitious countries are not backing down and fighting tooth and nail for a treaty that the world can be proud of, that brings unsolicited plastic production to its knees, and one that is indebted to waste pickers, communities, and indigenous peoples, or one that power-hungry countries continue to hold the process at hostage. But what we do know is that the chair released his fourth version of the non-paper yesterday. An anemic financial mechanism presents itself in this paper, an illogical exclusion of chemicals of concern. There is no meaningful language on health, human rights, or the rights of indigenous people, and there is a clear open door on false solutions like waste to energy and incineration and a free pass for some of the most polluting technologies and industries. One thing that we can be certain of is that 100 countries are still wanting an article on supply and more than 80 plus countries are explicitly calling for production reduction. In order for us to land the plastics treaty that is needed, to beat the ex existential threat of plastic pollution and plastic production, countries that are currently championing ambition need not bow to the arbitrary time pressures and the few bullies that are calling for a consensus-based treaty over justice. They must be willing to break this deadlock and insist that voting for the treaty be the majority of member states' support and, if necessary, be willing to walk away from a bad deal. As long as ambitious countries hold to their principles, we as civil society will continue to stand by them. You can be sure to stay tuned for more updates on all of the Gaia Africa pages as we start to wrap up these next couple of days.